naturally. Music enough. Listen to me, everybody. Arrange yourselves. Come, 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 come. Arrange yourselves. Bluebeard, up to the throne. You will pretend to be me. Pretend to be that thing, only Michael. I wonder will she pick him out. Of course she will. Why? How's she to know? No. She'll know what everybody in Chinon knows. That the Dauphin is the meanest looking and worst dressed figure at the court. And that the man with the blue beard is Gilles de Ray. Yes, I never thought of that. Ah, oh, you're not so accustomed to miracles as I am. You see, it is part of my profession. Yes, but that wouldn't be a miracle at all. But why not? A miracle, my friend, is an event that creates faith. That is the purpose and the nature of miracles. They may seem very wonderful to the people who witness them and very simple to those who perform them, but that does not matter. If they confirm or create faith, they are miracles. Even if they're frauds, do you mean? Ah, frauds deceive. An event that creates faith does not deceive. Therefore, it is not a fraud, uh, but a miracle. Highness, Joan from Doremi. Let her approach the throne. My dear, her hair. I wear it like this because I am a soldier. C could you fight with your hair rolled up in those big horns? <laughs> you are in the presence of the Dauphin. Come, Bluebeard. You can't fool me. Where be Dauphin? Gentle little Dauphin, I am sent to you to drive the English away from Orléans and from France and to crown you king in the cathedral at Reims, where all true kings of France are crowned. You see, she knew the blood royal, who dares say now that I am not my father's son. <laughs> but uh, if you want me to be crowned at Reims, you must talk to the archbishop, not to me. There he is. Oh, my lord. My lord, I, I am only a poor country girl, and, and you are filled with the blessedness and glory of, of God himself. The old fox blushes. Another miracle. My child, you are in love with religion. Am I? I never thought of that. Is there any harm in it? Oh, there is no harm in it, my child, but there is danger. There is always danger. Except in heaven. Oh, my lord, you have given me such strength, such courage. It must be a most wonderful thing to be an archbishop. <laughs> <laughs> my lord, will you send all these silly folks away so that I may speak to the Dauphin alone? Now, gentlemen, the maid comes with God's blessing and must be obeyed. Will you allow me to pass, please? Pardon, ma'am, I'm sure. Is that queen? No, but she thinks she is. I'll oh. trouble your highness not to jibe at my wife. Who be old Graf and Grum? He is the Duc de la Tremouille. What be his job? <laughs> he pretends to command the army. <laughs> <laughs> 